This incredible stretch of land is pockmarked with small holes that were dug during the massive gold rush that occurred here during the 1850s. In this particular site, miners were chasing a deep lead. What is a deep lead, you ask? Well, it's an ancient river that was buried by lava or sediment. In the past 7 million years, Victoria was transformed into the third largest volcanic plain to exist on our planet. So in this episode, we're going to look at the deep lead in Denali and discuss its creation. If you went to Denali today, you'd be forgiven for thinking that no volcanoes exist. The eruptions that once covered this land are more or less eroded away. But if you look carefully, you can see the stubs of the ancient volcanoes that once roared to life here. The entire drainage system of ancient Victoria was entirely altered when these eruptions were at their climax. After all, when lava is released, it's just like water. It flows downhill following existing drainage channels. And when these lava flows reach the many creeks and rivers that existed, they just flow over them and bury them in time, increasing in thickness with each wave of lava that was released. The affected drainage channels would largely disappear, and when it rained, the water would be forced to carve new rivers out. These new rivers are the present day ones that exist. So back to Denali. This deep lead here was just that, an ancient river that once flowed through here. Many of these deep leads are located quite close to the present day river that exists, but their direction can sometimes be completely skewed. And in some areas, rivers flowed the complete opposite way to where they do today. And there's a pretty obvious reason this happens. It's all dependent on the amount of lava that is extruded from the nearby volcanoes. If the ancient river is only covered by a small layer of lava, it wouldn't be enough to completely erase the original topography that existed here. And water will then accumulate after rains and slowly carve out new channels close to the original river as it makes its way downstream. The random nature of the lava flows, and the amount of it, dictates where the recent river flows lead. In other places, so much lava was erupted, that entirely new rivers were created well away from the old ones that existed. The present day material that the miners dug through to reach the deep lead, was the eroded remains of this basalt along with the material that was eroded from the surrounding Ordovician Age sedimentary rocks. This deep lead here is largely side by side with the modern day channel that replaced it after it was buried. This modern day channel though is a shadow of its former glory. It's tiny compared to the mighty river that once flowed through here, which was on average about 100 meters wide when it flowed. But the land has never really been the same since these eruptions occurred. And you can clearly see that by looking at the geological map, where we have absolutely no alluvial material nearby. It's all colluvial material, meaning water isn't flowing through here enough to sort this material out based on its specific gravity. So the material here is a mixture of a whole heap of different things that are emplaced in somewhat of a rubble-like manner. This means recent gold deposits here aren't properly sorted, and you can find pieces of it anywhere throughout the material, rather than right at the bottom, like what would normally happen when water is allowed to properly flow, and to sort material out in a layer-like manner, such as what would occur with alluvial deposits. And this is a big issue, because that means you have to process all of the material, rather than being able to isolate a rich layer of it, creating more labor, which uses more water, and finds a lesser amount of gold in the end. Up north, we see alluvium existing in this ancient 360 million year old granodiorite Devonian intrusion, because of how long this water has been allowed to weather the material down and accumulate. And once upon a time, a little over 7 million years ago, a mighty river would have raged past this area. So in present day, the old lead diggings consists of several thousand remnant mining shafts that were sunk to try to reach this ancient river. Between 30,000 to 50,000 miners worked this lead in 1856, after the discovery of large nuggets were made. The shafts needed to be dug 10 to 20 meters deep depending on the depth of the ancient river 
to reach the gold that would be neatly sorted with the largest nuggets occurring right at the bottom of the ancient riverbed due to how heavy gold is. Unlike the surrounding modern day colluvial material, which was a nightmare to work due to the gold not being properly sorted as previously mentioned. The nuggets that existed in this lead contained many that were over 20 ounces in weight. At the moment, one ounce is around 2,700 Australian dollars. Now this type of mining was super dangerous. Collapses were common, the ground was unstable, and flooding in shafts was quite a frequent thing to contend with, as these ancient buried paleo rivers would still actually flow to some extent, as the water from rains would seep into the ground and would still pass through them, even though it's buried 10 to 20 meters beneath the earth. So this is the amazing old lead diggings in Denali, one of the best preserved sites in Victoria where you can get a glimpse at what the land would have looked like back in the day during the gold rushes that occurred in this entire state, en masse, for over 50 years. Thanks for watching.